it's human nature to want to know how we measure up. But when it comes to our kids, parents often need to know. Whenever a family comes to our office, usually it's out of just desperation for finding answers to why the child is not growing. Pediatric endocrinologist Casey Jahami evaluates growth issues at Golisano Children's Hospital. When a child comes in with poor growth. Sometimes that can be linear growth problems, like that they're not in the expected stature, uh, or it could be because they're not thriving, putting on the weight as they should, or it could be both. The answers parents are looking for may be in their child's bones. Many times a single x-ray of the wrist, hand, or fingers can shed light on growth expectations. It's called the bone age or bone study, and then it looks into the maturity of the bone of the child, and it, it can give me an insight to uh, what the body has been going through in terms of uh, nutrition, in terms of uh, being in puberty or not, uh, in terms of expectations as far as final height. The study looks at growth plates, which are easy to see on x-ray, and by using comparison charts, specialists determine bone age. A difference between a child's bone age and their chronological age may indicate a problem. Growth hormones may be given if further tests reveal a deficiency. I'm not a pro-medication doctor. I am a doctor who pro promotes or advocates for your child's well-being, but I always say I always like to see somebody who has growth problems uh, as soon as there's recognition. The ultimate goal to help a child reach their full potential. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.